The Eco Diesel, I don't know. I don't know too much about the Eco Diesel. I'll tell you something about something mechanical though. It's got 12 valves or more. You got 385,000 horses and three buckled chucks of Mother's Musk inside of your pocket. Heard you're going to be an astronaut. Astronaut? What can I tell you? You saw that. Clearly, I understand. Ground, ground control to Major Will. Yeah. I've never done it. I have never done it. I'm just always slouching. Oh. I have to get ready. Get ready. Come on, Subway is in and out burger. Where I can go home and make a sandwich. Try to get some clips for the vlog. Slap some ass. Try to get some clips of the big meetings. Slap some ass and smoke some ass. Buy some ass and smoke some brown. Plantain. Oh! He found the song. Damn it. Damn it. But you've had this V8 Magnum for your whole life. Well, this is my first car, yeah. You can't get rid of it. March 2012. You can't get rid of it. The, exhaust, the dual exhaust is not on there anymore. What up? It went from two and a half to three inch. Three inch single pipe. Yeah. So it's a little bit louder. I thought and duels were louder. Well, it was a cat back. I think it's so a it's a catless exhaust. No, there's still two cats. I don't know why there's still two cats. It didn't have two cats to begin with. There was only one and then they had to add another one for some reason. So what's up? What's going on? So what do you think? What do I think? About that? Yeah. Very well, tastefully modified. Color match. Color matching. Did you do that to the emblem? It's black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Shit together. And as you can see, the Silverado lettering's gone. The Z71 decal's gone. All the decals off the back are gone. How'd you get the decals off? Just. Just some fishing line and some uh, hair dryer. Fishing line and a hair dryer. Oh That's... yeah, and a credit card. Yeah, I can see that. My brother did that with his M3. And whenever I turn the ignition, those LED squares around the lights turn on. Running LED running lights. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we'll have to go kayaking soon. Yeah. It'll be the best of both sports. Yeah, man. All right, I guess I'll turn the lights on. All right, here we go, about to turn the lights on. All right guys, we were back in the truck and inside the truck it says 91 degrees. This is honestly amazing. It feels so good outside, holy cow. Anyways, I called the shop because I, I, I did call a place to be able to get these lights sorted out. I didn't know if I was able to be able to do it or not. And they had such a such a small availability for the next few weeks that I figured I'd schedule something way in advance just in case. But fortunately, I was able to wire it up and got those daytime running LEDs working. The ones that are like that, just like a Ford, but on each actual light. So there's a total of four of them. So it's amazing that I was able to get that to work first time second time wiring something up but this time actually getting it more of a permanent way and of course I copied, uh, <laughs> I canceled my reservation with that place and I also called them about head units and I, I asked is it possible to order a base model truck without the upgraded sound system and in the touchscreen and, and actually adding that touchscreen later an actual OEM one and they said it would be quadruple the price instead of going just with an aftermarket one so it's definitely worth just going aftermarket with these newer vehicles. The computer would have to be reprogrammed, the harness would be different, and you probably have to also change some of the consoles. So I could see how expensive that would be. About to start her up on this really hot, really hot afternoon here. So I'm about to hot start this truck. There we go.
high school. So we left the crib, now we in a goddamn goddamn sky. Logan's behind me right now. V8 Dakota. Just made it back and it is so hot outside. Holy cow. It's getting hot in here. See, so yeah, I need to put those tires on, but here's the next day results. I don't think I showed it correctly, but wherever the paint went over into the edge there, that it was just chipping bad. It didn't look right. So now it's taking care of it. It looks great. So I'm going to try to call in and see if I can get a shot. Uh, well, I'm going to see what I can do about straight pipe exhausts, and if it works out, then we'll get that order pretty soon and get this Cummins straight piped up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very nice day out today. Probably going to do something outside, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button as well. Have a nice day. Light. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, dude, that looks really good. Yeah. Custom headlights, custom grill. I told you to get new end caps with fog lights. lights. Took the brush guard off the pole bar since day one. It looks a lot better than that. Color match. Oh wow. And then these are daytime running, dude. Whenever I turn the ignition, those LEDs dude, turn look on. really good, actually. Nice, dude. You should get cab lights. And that's 15 tow mirrors. <laughs>